what up though? It's your boy Urban Historian, you know. Um, it's gonna start this off with some fair use. All rights. This is for educational purposes only. Um, I'm just showing a quick video here on Papua New Guinea. Um, just to give a sh special little intro to the fam out in fucking Papua New Guinea and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just kind of watching some documentaries. This was like the first one. And you can, uh, you can see like how at, at peace they are. To. You feel me? Look how peaceful these people are. You feel me? And hey, naturally, they're gonna show them some cannibalism. Uh, make them savages and all that, but you know, these people are at peace. Trying to get some tribal gear in here, shit. Face paint. There you go. So, you feel me? And. Let's see what else came up here. Despite the daily impact of Western influence, they never miss an opportunity to. You know what I'm saying? Then I was watching this documentary, Extreme World. So they've gone from, you know, these peaceful ass people, yo, just like you look at what's happened here, look at this Amerindian looking ass nigga. Uh, um, but you see what's happening in America and what's happening right now to these people and shit. And like, you know, watching this stuff just kind of, kind of broke my heart. You feel me? Um, it's crazy to see these people so disenfranchised now because they've been invaded. You heard that? You know, look at this. You know, all them guns came from and shit. Trying to talk about how it's one of the most violent places in the world and shit. You feel me? Look at Papua New Guinea in 2013. So people didn't come into this area until fucking 1930. So look how fucking diminished that place has been. Like these people, I can sincerely hope they're not losing their languages and shit. I just want to give a special intro to Papua. Free those people and shit, yo. Get off of their land and shit. Uh, but this video is in reference to Ethiopia. And, you know, how titles have become changed to things like African American. Uh, there's, a, there's a book um, by... Shalomin e Halawahawi, um, the prophetic messianic voice of the path of the Edenic kingdom. You know, you can find that if you want to see it. Um, so just focused on this section here to kind of lead into Ethiopians. Um, so it's talking about descendants of Yehuda or Yuda, which is the pronunciation of Judah, the tribe of Judah. Yeah, yeah, the, the Yadovas, Yadavas, Yehudawas were the most venerable immigrants from India. The Indians. Again, you know what, where that connects to is Indians when Columbus found Ethiopians in America. Um, these blameless, pious Ethiopians were whom Homer mentions and calls the remotest of mankind. So these people are sparse, by all means. They are the remotest of mankind. By all means, they are of a dark complexion. Um, but you'll see how these titles all lead to all dark complexioned people um, as African. But you'll see... And here it discusses part of them say the old Hindu writers remained in this country. So they're saying there's still people in India. There's still black people there. The the natives 
Indians are still there. I had to look at the images in Google. Uh, hence, we read of two Ethiopian nations, the Western, keep that in mind, Western India or Ethiopia, and the Oriental. So the Orient, this is why a lot of Asian people don't like to be called Oriental because they know they're not Oriental. Uh, the Oriental people were black or Ethiopian title for black people. So check out that book. There's more information in there. Uh, so this is a William Smith site. Um, you come here and check out, I guess, Greek or, uh, yeah, I guess it's like a Greek Roman translator or like a thesaurus of sorts. Um, so here it discusses Ethiopians. Um, it's cor corresponds extending the exception. It's the modern regions of Nubia, Sennar, Kordofan, and northern Abyssinia. So you know that Ali Selassie, the first I and I, um, you know he was they they were fighting Italy under the name Abyssinia or at the Abyssinians. Um, you know modern day Ethiopia. Uh, you know, if you know, if you're familiar with the Rastafari movement, you already know um, how they move with Yah or the Creator. Uh, they don't, um, they don't really have a Jesus in their following. By all means, they look at Selassie I as their Savior, their Messiah. But they don't see him as a God. Um, so it discusses Ethiopia as a generic or ethnic designation. So it's it's to designate this region that compromising inhabitants of Africa, for example, who dwelt between the equator, the Red Sea, the Atlantic. So within certain regions they're just calling you Ethiopians because you most of these people in these areas are obviously dark complexions. The name Ethiopians is probably Semitic. Um, you know. So no Ethiopian or black man can be an anti-Semite. So with that in mind, just question who are the real Semitic people? And, you know, I'm focused to talk about reparations, but you understand that you've been paying reparations to someone, but it wasn't the people you enslaved who are Semitic. So who have you come against other than the real Israel here? So, I mean, you better start getting right with the creator um so it's talking about you know where the sunburnt dark complexion races above egypt it's applied to all dark people above egypt no i mean this if you know maps are upside down then and you know who knows what they're saying here until unless it had a map reference but you look at Upper Egypt, it's the lower part. It's the southern region of Egypt and modern Egypt. Mount Zingas, which is funny. Because I'll talk about Chingus here in a second. Uh, so you can check out the site, you know, perseus.tufts.edu. Let's review um, the Roman Greek uh, methodology and you know, explanation of Ethiopia. Um, unexplored Asia. More documents in the geography of Herodotus. Um, so this is explaining that Ethiopia or Ethiopians of Asia contrasted with those of Libya. So here it's starting to distinguish separate races of dark complexion people. Not just all your African. You're of this Asiatic Ethiopian type. You're a little bit browner than the typical pygmy. You know, you look at the darkest people in the world in the Andamans. They are resembling, you know, like pygmies, but by all means, these people are probably not related. There's uh, information there. You know, I'm just going to. Lead you into the, 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 you know, lead you to the water. It's up to you to drink, you know what I'm saying? I can sit here and say a bunch of shit, but until you look at it yourself again, 
You know what I'm talking about. Um, this is in discussion to a book by John G. Jackson. Uh, this is a critical review of the evidence of you know the history, reliable sources and authorities in discussing Ethiopia. In modern geography, the name Ethiopia is confined to a country known as Abyssinia, like I said. Haile Selassie and, you know, the modern Ethiopians went to war with Ethiopia or Italy. Uh, Homer and Herodotus call all the peoples of Sudan, Egypt, Arabia, Palestine, West Asia, and India, Ethiopians. All these black people were pushed into Africa. The Arab Aboriginal black inhabitants of India the Indian, so there's Aboriginal Americans, the Dravidians. Uh, these are your uh, Indians, you feel me? Not the Hindus or the Punjabis. These are the Indians, as referred to by the Europeans. Um, Ethiopia was first established, the first established country on earth, essentially. Um, Ethiopians were first who introduced the worship of gods because these are Semitic people. Um, oh, look at this. The vestiges of early this early civilization can be found in Nubia, Mesopotamia, Arabia, South America, Central America, Mexico, United States. Any student who doubts this will find ample evidence in such. The Voice of Africa. Prehist uh, by Dr. Leo Rabonius, Prehistoric Nations in Ancient America, John Bolton, Rivers of Life, you know what I'm saying? That's tsedaywordpress.com. Um, you can always get at me for these links to read these documents. So you saying there's, you know, with all authority and sources, you know, any student in doubt can go out and seek this information he's given it to he's given it to me through my seeking out this information so uh, we read Memnon king of Ethiopia you know all these these biblical kings black people Celts uh, and generally thought that Celts were Caucasoids but Sir Godfrey Higgins after much study and conclusion they were Negroid uh, title um, Druids were Negroids the religion of Buddha of India or of course you know Indians was naturally black we've already discovered that there were at least 10 Buddhas mentioned in the sacred books of India who, who these can be or who these can have been but the early individuals of black of the black nation of whom we have been treating I know not and in this opinion, I am not singular. Uh, the learned Maurice says Cuthies or Cushites, i.e. Celts. They're calling Celts Cushites, Ethiopians. Uh, from woolly texture of hair, I am inclined to assign the Buddha of India, the Fuhi of China, the Samo Nakam of the Siamese, the Zaha of the Japanese, the Quetzalcoatl of the Mexicans, the same and indeed an African, or rather Nubian, origin, aka Ethiopia, Negro, African American, Asiatic American, Asiatic, yada yada, all these titles confuse you. Chris Columbus, uh, we've talked about Presser John here in previous videos, so you know what time it is, the king, of, noble king of Ethiopia. Um, check out this book, Christopher Columbus Encyclopedia. I just wanted to mark that because it talked about Marco Polo, and there's a series on Netflix about Marco Polo. So I want you to notice how they've kind of made everybody resemble modern day people, but not what you read in these books and documents. These black people, Pastor Khan or Pastor John and Genghis Khan. I kind of want to relate it this, um, you know, onto like. Papua New Guinea. Um, these, uh, I'll show you the map first. I get 
just see if you check out this map from Columbia.edu. Uh, you didn't get at me for sources. Um, Mongolia is up here. Here's Orientalis. Here's India. These are the black people. And the Mongolians are up here. I mean, and further research leads us to believe the Mongolians are black too. But right here, it's saying Chinggis or Genghis Khan. Uh, essentially appropriated his title and, you know, it says, concerning Chinggis Khan, first emperor of the Tartars, and his warfare with Un Khan, which is Prester John, whom he overthrew, and of whose kingdom he possessed unto himself, like the Papuans, like the American Negro. You, you saw my oceanic video, African Negro. Are you a black American or are you American black? Um, so right there, they stole, they're doing that shit to the Papuans right now. So just want to put that out with this video and save, you know, put out a message to save Papu. I mean, it's going to be hard to bring these back people back from what they've been thrown into, you know, but that's what was written onto this world. Maybe they got a little bit too wild out there and went against their their noble laws and uh, ultimately suffered the consequences through their current invasion. But it's so sad to see in less than a hundred years what's been like done to those people and their current status. Uh, for what I get, it's gotten better. So hopefully it continues to, but I mean, get those fucking people out of there, dude. Like let them people have their, their, their sovereignty and shit. You go around wanting sovereignty for your country. Um, get the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? I'm in that video. Peace.